For this tutorial, we will be using Plunker to write and edit our code. Plunker is available online at plnkr.co. Once you go to the link, you will have to sign in with your GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, please create one as it is free. If you don't want to create an account, you will still be able to clone in Plunker, just that you won't be able to save your code and retrieve it later. Now click on the launch editor button. We already have a basic HTML project loaded here. To view the output, click on the eye icon on the right. When you edit something, it loads the output on the right. You can add a file by clicking on new file on the left. You can also delete that file by clicking on the cross. You can save the plunker or save the plunk by clicking on the save button. Make sure you have the description field populated. To retrieve a saved plunk, click on your username and click on my plunks menu item. And then hover over the plunk you want to open. You can identify the plunk you want to open by the description field that we had discussed. Click on the edit icon. This will open the saved plunk. If you want to add any libraries like jQuery, click on the book icon on the right and search for the library you want to include. In this example, we will search for jQuery and then we will click on the wizard icon and it will add jQuery library to our code. You can copy the URL also and send it to someone and they can open the URL in their browser and the same plunk will open in their browser. This way you can share a piece of code or your project for someone to de debug or take a look at.